Hey guys, it's Manda Panda. Welcome back. I got another custom My Little Pony tutorial for you. And today's custom is inspired by Disney's new movie Moana. I am going to be transforming Applejack into Moana today. I'm starting off by using a little bit of acetone to remove her cutie mark. And now I'm going to remove her head by twisting it to the side until it pops right out. I'm going to need to remove all of Applejack's hair and to do that I have to get inside of the head and I need to remove the neck plug. Sometimes the neck plug comes out really easily if you pull on it with some pliers or tweezers but this one is not budging so I'm going to grab my exacto knife and very carefully make a series of small cuts around the plug until I can just pull it right out just like that. Now I'm going to take a pair of really large scissors and cut off as much of Applejack's hair as I possibly can. And then I'm going to take a pair of very small scissors and cut off her hair all the way down to the scalp. All of Applejack's hair has been cut off. Now I'm going to take my pliers, reach in there, and pull out all of the roots and glue from the hair. And if you're having trouble pulling that hair out, you can scrape on the inside and that hair will come out a little bit easier. Applejack's all bald now. I'm gonna take a little bit of acetone and just remove Applejack's little eyebrow and her eyelashes because I'm going to give them a different shape later on. And the head's ready for customization. Now it's time to work on the body. I've already cut around that neck plug and see I just pulled that right out. I'm going to grab my big scissors and cut off as much of the tail as I possibly can. Reach in there with my pliers and pull out the remaining piece of the tail and the little metal washer that's inside. And I suggest putting the neck plug to the side so it does not get lost because you will need it later. Moana's skin tone is a gorgeous sun-kissed tan and I thought that this Sally Hansen nail polish in neutral was the perfect match for her skin tone so I'm going to be using this nail polish as the base for my pony so I'm gonna start off by painting the head first and I am not going to be painting over the eyes today I am going to carefully outline them with nail polish and then completely fill in the rest of the head and this nail polish is going on really really great with one coat I am getting complete coverage there are a couple of little places where I have to go and do like a little touch up but for the most part one coat is gonna give you complete opaque coverage and I'm going to paint the body using the same nail polish Time to get started on Moana's face. I am going to change the shape of the eyes and make them a little more almond shape using some white acrylic paint. I'm just elongating the white portions of Applejack's eyes. Now I'm going in with some black acrylic paint and I'm completely filling in that big white light spot she had. Moana's eyes are a really pretty dark espresso brown so I'm taking two shades of acrylic paint there and going all around the black area and I'm gonna top it off with a little light reflection in the corner. Off camera, I drew in her eyelashes and some eyeliner down at the bottom. I'm gonna give Moana a little bit of blush on her cheeks using a mixture of the same nude nail polish and a little bit of pink added to that. And I'm just tapping that on with a brush. That's all I need to do to the head, so I'm gonna cover it with a layer of clear nail polish. And once that has dried, I'm gonna start on Moana's hair. 
Instead of the normal straight hair that I usually use from dollyhair.com, I'm going to be using this really pretty curly hair from Craft Designer that you can find on amazon.com. I'll put a link down below. I'm going to reroot Moana's head using my tool from dollyhair.com, which is basically a pronged needle. And I like to wrap the hair around my finger and catch it right at the end of that needle. Since the tool is sharp, all you need to do is select which hole you want that hair plug to go in and press it right through. The hair plug will anchor itself inside of the head. And you're just going to repeat this process over and over again until Moana has a full head of gorgeous curly hair. Once all the hair plugs are in, you need to secure them or they will fall out. I like using a little bit of no-sew glue, putting it directly inside of the head and using a Q-tip to evenly distribute it inside. I'm going to put the head to the side, let it dry, and start working on Moana's body. I am going to be making her skirt and top out of Sugru, but if you don't want to do that, you could always use air dry clay or just dry raw paint directly onto the pony's body. So I've rolled out that Sugru into a long rectangular shape and I'm wrapping it around the front of the pony to make Moana's tank top. And I prefer using Sugru over air dry clay because Sugru does not shrink at all and it remains flexible, it doesn't get hard and it doesn't break. Now I'm taking a second piece of Sugru and I am going to add this to the very top edge of the pony's neck, blend those two pieces together and then push it down to create the little layered effect that Moana has on her tank top. And I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to make sure that this second piece on the top is at an angle just like Moana's. Now I'm going to put in Moana's skirt. I have rolled out a large piece of Sugru. I'm going to put it in between the legs here and then gently pull it up just like this and making sure that it creates a really cute little diagonal there just like Moana's. I have a longer piece of Sugru then I'm going to wrap around the entire waist for Moana's little sash and add a bow. I've let this dry overnight. You can see it's no longer soft. It's nice and flexible. I'm taking my little tiny scissors and I am cutting in some little triangular shapes here. Because at the bottom of Moana's skirt, she does have a little scallop and I wanted to recreate that look. I'm also going to round out the bottoms and that looks so nice. I've also used my X-Acto knife to make a little wavy pattern at the bottom of her tank top. For paint, I'm going to be using Folk Art Light Flesh for the skirt and for the top, I'm using Apple Barrel's Ripe Tomato. And this light flesh color is going on so good with one coat I'm getting complete coverage and I think that this is a really good color match to Moana's skirt from the movie this reddish orange color is not as good as the other one it is going to take me three coats to get even coverage here so I'm going to paint the top and the sash of her skirt using the same color. The paint's all dry, now it's time for the details. I'm using a wine colored paint here and the tip of a toothpick to draw on a line right at the top of the shirt out of little tiny dots. Now I'm taking the same flesh color I used for her skirt and I'm going to draw two lines right at the edge of where that fold is. 
and these lines are really going to define that diagonal shape at the front of her shirt. And that looks so good. Now that the lines are in, I can go in and draw my second line of wine colored dots. And in between those two dotted lines, I'm going to paint in little rectangles. And this looks so, so cool. Now I'm taking that same dark wine color and I'm going to draw a thick stripe that covers the majority of that bottom layer of Moana's shirt. I have some nail decals in this really pretty tribal pattern that I have painted using the same color as her top and I'm going to overlay those on the wine colored area and the top's all done. Let's get started on the skirt. I'm taking some white acrylic paint and drawing in a thick stripe right above the scalloped area. To give Moana's skirt some texture, I'm using Apple Barrel paint in the color khaki to create some very faint hatch marks, which are diagonal lines that go in both direction. And this is gonna give it the texture sort of of like straw. I use that same color to outline my white stripe and I'm going to go in with the same khaki color again and draw little triangles in the middle of my white striped area. Switching back to white acrylic paint, I'm going to give Moana's skirt a little zigzag stripe right on top of the other one and that looks so cute. A last step here is to draw on the flowers of Moana's skirt using Golden Sunset and that came out so, so good. I'm gonna cover this with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. And once the clear top coat has dried, I'm gonna work on the bottom layer of Moana's skirt. I got this raffia and I've cut it into very small little pieces and attached it to some double-sided tape. And I'm going to very carefully place this underneath Moana's skirt, just like this. And then I'll trim it. The last step is gonna be attaching the head to the body using the neck plug and some Gorilla Glue. Let's check out the completed custom. Here is the Moana pony and I love her hair. I've never used curly hair before and this looks so nice. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you noticed, I did not give Moana a tail because once I added the straw underneath the skirt, there really wasn't a place to put a tail and I think she looks gorgeous just like this. Well, thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have an idea for my next custom, I would love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. You can find me online. For the latest news and updates for the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat.